Hello, YouTubers. Are you 20 odd who <laughs> keep watching? Um, as you know, I um, got a lot of my truth from AJ Miller. Um, and while half of me, some of the time, well, half the time I'm arguing with people saying AJ Miller is Jesus, and then the other half of the time I'm arguing with the ones who already know that, or in that way, arguing with them about some of the points where AJ Miller might be wrong. And, um, and you know, AJ Miller has said the same, you know, don't take everything I say as absolute definite truth. I might be wrong, he said that. And there are some elements of truth that we might find very interesting that AJ Miller hasn't spent an awful lot of time on. His main focus has been um, about how to get rid of soul injuries so that it can make people better. And um, so, so one of the things that's mentioned about is the history of the world and that, yes, it is true that God made the first two human beings and their names is actually a man and a mon. But what's written in the Bible is metaphorically, in ways, true. That they walked away from God. They felt they didn't need God. An original sin was created. So then, the children's children's children, and yes, so obviously, there would have been soulmates in the first set of children. But maybe that didn't cause a problem, because the first two humans were made perfect. So then the, the following ones <clears throat> came out. And so he's mentioned the time frame, and A.J. Miller has said about 100,000 years. And that always seemed in my brain, you know, about right. But <laughs> again, it's so like these things. Nagging thoughts would just, you know, around that idea of a hundred thousand years, there'd just be these nagging sort of thoughts that don't go away. Uh, like, um, like, if it's true, which I do believe it is, that everybody who's ever died is still experiencing, just carried on experiencing but with their spirit body only and their soul spirit body if a hundred thousand years had gone on there would be just so many so that was one nagging thought um was that was that the only one maybe that was probably the main one because that just came out now and so I've been trying to feel about the truth of this. And I've looked back in the Bible and I've gone through, you know, how many generations are written in there. And and I think about the world and, you know, one of these things we think we've got proof that humans have been around for about that long and some say even longer. All down to archaeologists. Again, people who've been to university, they're institutionalised, they will just take for granted that this is this because it's written in this book and so-and-so said it, so it must be true. And I think, you know, it has been to cover up the truth. The truth that it's only been... And let's say from 6,000 up to 14,000. But let's just say 6,000 years. Humans, if they'd only been around 6,000 years. Now I know, Miz, you're thinking, no, well, come on, what about the flints? <laughs> the flint things, you know, they've dated those. How can you date flint? Carbon dating is the only thing which can date things 
going back a long time. So it's usually like wood and bones and, and stuff, and they measure the half life. But with with a stone that's been cut, how can you say that was cut then, and not, you know, more recent? You can't. You can't do that. So I think there's been a cover up. I think a lot of what we take as factual is not. And in fact, a while ago I I was looking back at the skulls. And um, you do see quite a difference. The 6,000 are very human-like. And the ones before are dodgy looking. <laughs> They're pretty dodgy looking. So, I think it becomes thoroughly fascinating then that you can suddenly encapsulate <laughs> all the time humans have been here is set out in a book and um, it's interesting that I've noticed because another truth that AJ Miller has said about gay souls and I'm starting to question that. Um, I haven't gone too far, far enough with that, but I sort of get this impression, my gosh, I'm going back to the book. The book which I've been quite critical of, yet I have read cover to cover the King James Bible. I've read the New Testament a few times, and I have a few Bibles around which I compared bits from different Bibles and read bits and bobs. I've read the Revelations a few times and I was really against that for a bit. Just like, this is just bollocks. Like. <laughs> and, um, but I am starting to see that. And also I've been, you know, watching YouTubers, you know, some of them getting different interpretations through the Bible and I've always been very impressed by the GMS Israelites. There, I mean, they didn't cover enough subjects, but their interpretation has been very interesting. And you know, you can then, you can then just start to see the big picture of <laughs> God's plan with, with um all his children, his and her children, and um, it's it's very nice way of looking at it, less sort of, um, before with the hundred thousand years of it, I got this impression, my gosh, people have been suffering for so long, <laughs> you know, it was negative, it's bad, and, Sort of trying to imagine this long races of people, you know, sort of, you know, before the ones in this book or whatever. Um, so, <laughs> can get rid of that now. It feels good. <laughs> feels good just to be left with the, the bit that you need to know, the truth. When you've when you're feeling truth and you're taking it on, it's it's a really good feeling. And then you deal with the consequences of it afterwards. And they may be good, and sometimes they may be hard. There may be some hard things in there. Okay, ciao.